Welcome to the DRBD Basics course. In this course, you will learn the fundamental skills required to deploy DRBD9 on Linux. The purpose behind the LinBit DRBD training is to enable LinBit customers to make the best use of their investment in high availability. Understanding the product at a much higher level is going to empower administrators to provide better and more cost-effective solutions in their data centers and clouds. This training consists of the core DRBD training before moving on to more specialized training. As you progress through the course, you will be working with DRBD 9 predominantly. Currently, the Linux kernel ships with DRBD 8.4 kernel module, which is mature and has been tested over time. Many organizations feel comfortable with this version of DRBD that ships with their distribution. However, it does not include some of the features of DRBD 9, and LinBit is no longer actively developing it, although LinBit does still support customers on the 8.4 branch until 2026. If you'd like to be one of those customers, you can have the world-class support provided by the developers of DRBD by contacting a LinBit sales team member to enroll in a support subscription. 9.2 is the latest version of the kernel module and is available through your LinBit support subscription or by accessing the source code. With the latest version of DRBD, you can expect a host of new features including auto-promote, more efficient synchronization, support for 31 replicas, and more. This DRBD basics training course is organized into five modules. The first module introduces the training course and what DRBD and LinBit are all about. The second module, we will go through the process of creating the lab environment we'll use throughout this course. Using Ubuntu LTS, we will create an initial system in VirtualBox and then create two clones to use in the labs. Much of this we will do from the command line interpreter or CLI. So you can become familiar with managing your virtual machines from the CLI using VBox Manage. Using the CLI to manage your VMs will provide many advantages, which we'll see along the way. In the third module, we'll discuss the types of clusters provided with DRBD8 and DRBD9, as well as the complexities introduced in version nine. Examining the components that make up the DRBD metadata, we can illustrate how the metadata size grows with the nodes participating in the cluster. Module four is where you will gain the under the hood knowledge of DRBD by using the native DRBD ADM tools and configuration files. In setting DRBD up in this manner, we are able to appreciate the processes used to manage DRBD resources. It is also a compatible way in which earlier versions of DRBD can be used. Lastly, in the fifth module, we will be deploying DRBD resources using LinStore. The knowledge that you'll gain from managing DRBD9 manually will provide a foundation for using LinStore. Even though there are more services to deploy in the form of the LinStore controller and LinStore satellite, much more of the process is maintained automatically. It is the advent of LinStore that makes true software-defined storage across a wide range of cloud environments. So if you're ready to get started with this DRBD basics training, then you'll find a link to the LinBit learning course in the video description. And I'll see you over there.